In today's video, I'm going to show you something that you can do to counter the beat press meta that is running the community rampant right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel posts four times a day here on YouTube to, to try to help you understand a little bit more about Madden 21 and also to try to give you some practical tips and strategies that you can use that are really going to help you get better in this game. And so if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you right now, go down to the description of this video, click that subscribe, and then also click to join the Discord. The Discord, sign up for Discord. It's the best communication platform there is out there for Mad, my opinion, because you're able to chat in real time, able to really get into the weeds of everything. And so if you want to chat with me and with our channel over at Discord, that'd be awesome. You can join it by clicking the link in the description. All right, let's jump into this. So basically i put out a video the first thing this morning was talking about this idea um of it was i think i might just put this video out prior to but but basically what we talked about was the idea that press coverage is going to become a thing you're going to see people they're going to do two things especially if you're playing mutt they are going to run press man-to-man -man coverage on the outside okay and they're going to use the bench press ability on their corners and the reason they're going to do that is because that is going to fatigue your receivers it's going to basically fatigue your receivers throughout the course of a game so much to the point that your receivers will literally sit on the bench if you don't know how to do what i'm about to show you to do so let's jump into it so cover two man and i just want to show you two i want to show you um a specific route it's this route from Y. uh it's it's this route from uh y cross uh over here on this page right here white cross y cross y cross i'm sorry and what you'll see is on the left hand side it's a press animation right standard press animation and if you if you can fit the ball in the window you can fit the ball in the window if and most routes are like that, right? Like if you just run a slant route, like if I do, if I press coverage here and I run a slant route, you're going to see both of them are going to get pressed. And then once of them, eventually they beat the press, then you can throw the ball. This ability basically takes advantage of that. It says, okay, if your receivers are going to get pressed, then we are going to absolutely fatigue the crap out of your receivers. So much to the point that you're literally going to have some receivers on the bench. So a counter to that, what can you do? Well, what you can do is find unbumpable routes and i want to talk this applies bigger than mutt but it does apply in mutt but i also want to apply it to regs um the green bay packers have a really good wide receiver Devonte adams if you have 90 or higher route running basically a good route running running receiver you want them on the far right side of the screen and we're going to be talking about spread wide flex and we're going to be talking about one of my favorite plays i've talked about this a lot this year the play y stick one of the best plays in the game, and it just got even more essential with the latest meta shift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this play. Now, what you're gonna see is I can motion uh, Marquez Valdez scaling to the right, and you can see that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Marquez Valdez scaling on a slant route, on a slant route, just like this. Now, if they run press coverage, what's going to happen is they are going to be able to press Lazard and they're going to be able to press Steinberger, but they're not going to be able to press Zadis Scantling or Devontae Adams. Okay, they're not going to be able to press those guys because they're going to be on unbumpable routes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to motion mark because Zadis Scantling to the right side of the screen. Let me show you what Devontae Adams route does against man-to-man -man coverage. The snap of the ball, once he gets over the top, you're going to bullet pass to the outside and you're going to see you're going to be able to get the ball out there. Now again, part of Aaron Rodgers' job, and you do need to practice this route a little bit, but you want to practice this route and understand when to throw it and how to throw it. You want to swerve catch the receiver, okay? That's a little tricky to get the timing on it, and I'm going to show you another way to throw this route uh, that's going to help you a little bit here. But literally get him out there, it's just a swerve, it's just a swerve outside catch. Literally, you're just going to get him out there, um, and what you're going to find, what I personally like to do is I like to smart route the route, um, so that it goes a little bit faster because Ad uh, Stephon Gilmore has one step ahead He's able to play the ball a little bit better But let me show you what's gonna happen What most people are gonna do is they're going to press coverage, but they're gonna drop both of these guys in a purple zone That's the purpose of that is Scantling's route if they don't drop them into purple zones Even if they do you're gonna be able to hit him all day long This motion slant is gonna kill man-to-man -man coverage as you see the purple zones are what allow the man-to-man -man coverage to be played so because they're running purple zones right that's what they're gonna do we we all know it then what's gonna happen is there's two purples there's nobody over the top this is what i talk about 
you if you have the ability to do this because the bench press receiver they're saying if he gets a press win he's going to win well he's not going to get a press he's going to completely whiff on the press you can just lob this up over the top click on and swerve catch and you're going to absolutely torch press man-to-man -man coverage that is what i like about this they are going to be forced to play tampa cover two man and even if they play tampa cover two man you can most of the time fit this in with a quick dot out lob and one of the things that i like to do to help this just a little bit is streaks if you streak the slot on the right side of the screen what you're going to see is it's going to it's going to hold the safety for just a second just long enough for you to get this ball out here whoops i'm sorry i didn't press i think i shaded coverage over top i'm sorry but let me show you so they if they shade coverage over top it's it's useless right because if they're not pressing they're not getting the advantage of the ability they have to press coverage that is the whole point Okay, so I got to press coverage. Yeah, shade, probably shade coverage outside, shade coverage inside. You're going to be able to hit this dot to Devontae Adams most of the time. And if you're not able to hit the dot to Devontae Adams, you're going to be able to hit the dot to either the running back or you're going to be able to hit the dot to Valdez Scaling. So press coverage again. Watch the running back on this play. Running back's going to get absolutely butt naked. As you see, he's going to get rubbed. Natural picks and natural rubs to beat the man to man coverage. This play right here, if they are press manning you, run this play. Run this play. You're not going to reg regret it. Throw that streak to the tight end there. If you can get a receiver in that position, it's going to help even more because you're going to, because what's going to happen is, and, and part of this is route running. As you see, the Patriots are just bagging me right now in, in uh, practice mode because they just have such a good uh, route running uh, team. But basically what's going to happen is if you if you have a good tight end on this this vertical, you're going to be able to torch man. If he can get a little speed advantage, he's going to beat the press or get over top. He's going to be able to kill it. They can't run deep blues all over the field. They can't. If they can only run three, and realistically they can only run three. They're going to need a they're going to need a purple zone on the left side of the field to stop um, down as scamp. Now if they want to keep with that, if they if they want to keep with something like that. Again, you've got him on the slant. Now watch. Oh, but they haven't taken the running back away, and there's a quick free 15, 10 to 15 yards. All the while, your receivers aren't getting pressed, so you're not having to deal with the fact that you they are doing the bench press ability. So then what they're going to do? Oh, well, they're going to, they're, I guarantee you, they are going to purple both of these guys on the outside. If you see the purple, if you see the curl flats, if you see them come down, if you see the safeties come down, even in the slightest, lob this ball up, and get yourself going over the top with Devontae Adams. This route kills man-to-man -man coverage. One of the things I do like to try, I want to try out here live on stream, uh, is when you throw this, throw throw a high ball. Throw a high ball. Get it out there. When you got Aaron Rodgers, you can put the ball in very special places. Because he's got the set feet elite ability or the pass feet elite ability, he's going to be able to literally get the ball out there, get that high trajectory. You're going to be able to get that catch right over. That's gets cover to man. You're gonna pop those uh, little stock fades. Those stock fades are going to force your opponent to do different things. He's not gonna be able to just sit in this all day long. You're gonna be able to pop him for 30 to 40 to 50 yards. Now, what happens, you say, well, what happens when they go and they maybe do something like this, right? They, 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 they bluff it a little bit, right? And they, they're, they're in cover four. So the bluff and the press on you, what do you do? What are your reads? Well, trust your process, trust your system. As you can see here, everybody's manned up. They got all of the blues on the field. Now you're going to pop this little slant route over and over and over again. Motion slants are one of the best things that you can do for your offense in Madden 21. When you pair it with a stock fade and you learn how to throw stock fades, you are going to be so far ahead of the curve this year. Please put some lab work into this play. This play is going to help you. It is helping me as we speak. This is one of the best plays in Madden 21. I've talked about it for months now. It's seriously one of the best plays. Get on the train. If you want the whole entire scheme that I have from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, you can pick it up below. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. Pick it up right now. It's in the description. You don't want to wait on this. You don't want to wait. You won't regret it. This entire scheme can beat everything that everybody's doing right now. This is one of the best offenses I've ever put together, and I think one of the best offenses of round right now. So pick up that competitive bundle guide. It comes with my full offense, my full defense. Glenn, my man, just picked it up and was able to destroy some high-level players in weekend league. So anyways, guys, thank you for so much for taking the time to watch this video. And guys, we will see you in our next upload coming shortly.